it's Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. I have done a rearrange, as you may or may not be able to tell from um, the setup, <laughs> but um, I wasn't happy with... I loved the U-shape, and I kept that, but before when I walked in, I kind of had to come in, work my way around some things, and then into the workspace, and now it's just the door is straight across from me where I sit now, so... I think I'm going to like this much better. I went to Target and Dollar Tree today and I got an order from scrapbook.com. So, Target is not really crafty. I bought this sign from the Bowl by Playground. And it comes with extra signs. They're double sided so you can change what one you hang. What one you hang. And I really like this one, but I just want to bake stuff and watch and watch Christmas movies. I think there's a towel, but I'm not sure it says watch Christmas movie. It may say to listen to Christmas music, which I wish this said, but I like the Christmas movies too. I watch a lot of Christmas movies, but it comes with these different signs. I'm thinking I might try to find, I think I can hang it over in my craft room over there. I wouldn't be able to see it real well, but I'm thinking about doing that. But that's one of the things I bought. And the other things I bought were Christmas decorations. i seen this idea for Christmas lights on your tree in rainbow order. So I bought red, green, blue and purple. Those were the four colors they had. I'm thinking I shop. I should have bought purple because by the time you get down to the bottom of the tree, I only probably have like one little row of purple lights. I probably should have bought two so that I would have had at least two rows of purple. Next time I go to Target, if they have purple enough, maybe I'll pick up one more box. But they were getting low on purple. I still need to find pink, orange, and yellow. I was wanting new lights to put on hubby's tree, but I think what I'm going to do is our tree that's downstairs always had blue lights, which is what I wanted to get for hubby's tree. So I'm just going to put those blue lights on his tree and I'm going to do the rainbow lights on the main tree. And then at Dollar Tree, I bought these berry bushes. I thought I could work these into a craft project somewhere. I'm always looking for little things like that to put on the project. Oh, hubby picked these up. They're mesh strainers for the sink. I'll have to bring those ones downstairs. Um, this, they actually had some crafty things this time. I was really surprised because usually the crafter square items, a lot of them only select stores carry. And there's only one store in my area listed. And Dollar Tree says when I ask, they're like, oh, well, it's only the larger Dollar Trees. I'm like, that answer makes no sense. I think the the one that carried it, of the ones I've been to, I think there's a couple other ones, but of the ones I've been to, they're the smallest Dollar Tree. <laughs> so the one that I went to today is probably our largest one. It's our newest one. And they actually had some of them today. They had the fastener dots and the pop dot adhesives. Um, I think that might have been all I bought with the Crafter Square. I did buy a couple of the photo albums. What I want to do with these is, I still want to get more of them. I want to print out pictures of how I have my decorations set up and put the, put them in here and then put like a list in there of like anything I have for outdoors, which is stored in the garage, and candles, which are always stored in an inside closet because the other places that I store my stuff I, is either the garage or our back porch, neither of which are heated. So if they get too cold in the winter, when, winter they end up breaking if they're out there. So I don't put my snow globes or my candles. The candles melt in the summer. The snow globes break in the winter. So I don't put either of those 
with the rest of the decorations I put them in the inside closet so I want to put a little note in here of you have you know like this one make it for Halloween you have Halloween signs in the garage for outside you you have candles or and I think I have snow globes too candle which I forgot to get them out this year candles and snow globes in the back closet so that I don't forget that I have the decorations so I want to get and I forget I do Halloween and Thanksgiving and I, then I'll try to pick up one for Christmas and in January I do snowmen then Valentine's Day St. Patrick's Day Easter spring some patriotic then summer and then fall and then you're back to Halloween so I'll need like 11 of them I think all together so I want to pick up more of them what I might do is end up changing the insert to make it match the holiday because I think it's just a piece of like cardboard card stuck there anyways so and I found oops dropping things I found some 12 millimeter pearls and some 14 millimeter pearls I think there's another size of these that's a little bit smaller but they didn't have them at the Dollar tree or, or didn't have any left anyways and I did not need more washi but I seen this watermelon washi and I have a thing about watermelon so I picked it up and then I picked up three envelopes and these are I'm also working on organizing around the house and I'm taking an envelope like this for each room of the house like the one I have for the kitchen might be a little bit bigger but I put any appliance or handbook that I have in right in the envelope that way and then I have a file cabinet that I store them all in but that way if I'm looking for okay I need the I need the manual for this to you know see something about how it works or about getting a replacement part I can just look it up but I'm trying to create one for like each room of the house. Now my craft room, I ha actually have two of the expanding folders. I have one for appliances and um, furniture. And then I've got another one for my craft machines that I keep all the manuals and stuff there. But I also have a little notebook that I've been saving my paint chips and stuff so that if I'm still happy with the color and it comes time to paint again, I have that. <laughs> Instead of having to try to find that exact color again, nowadays they can just match things up so easily that that's easier. And then from scrapbook.com, they had some coronavirus stuff. I probably don't need as much coronavirus themed stuff as I got, but. I can always give some to my daughter after I finish and see if she wants to use it. And I know there's a few in here about um, like remote learning. So as a teacher, she might like those to use for hers. But there was this kit. Open this up. I hope I've got time to show it. This one's called The New Normal. It's made by Photoplay and the design, it's designed by Becky Moore. I've got this sheet with all the cut aparts. And then the back. Looks like there's different like mask and whatever little symbols on it. It gives you, I think, two sheets of each paper. Some of them are very much coronavirus, like this one, but the back of it is just a plaid. So I suppose if I didn't use it all too, I could use the other side for something else. This one with the mask. I'm probably going to do a layout. I made, I made a lot of masks. I've made over 400 masks, so I know I'm going to do a layout with pictures of some of the masks I made and that and the backs, just kind of the dots. And then there's this one. The cut aparts. And that one with the base 
obviously keep six feet apart. So wait a minute, I might have showed the wrong sheet for that. Yep, I did. The back of this one is actually the stripes, the rainbow stripes. I thought when I picked up the next one, which is this one, and it has that on the back. I just accidentally grabbed three sheets rather than two. And there's this one here. The different t-shirts with sayings on it, and that's on the back. And then a sheet of sticker sheet stickers to go there. I also found a lot of digital ones online for free. I wonder if they tell who they're from. Uh, probably not. I was going to say, otherwise I would share them online. This one's called There's No Place Like Home. And it's Designs by Reminisce, which I've never heard of it. Look down here in the corner, it says Quarantine. So. I have, I think, seen Reminisce paper before, and that's what it says there. This one, this side, the one side just says quarantine, looks like prison bars, and then there's toilet paper on the back. I thought it might be kind of cute, too. Not cute, but interesting for down the road to talk about the shortages of different things and the empty grocery shelves. This one says game night on one side, and puzzle, there's a puzzle on the back. Now, this one, honestly, I would not have to use for the coronavirus. It says nailed it. I know a lot of people have taken up baking bread and just bake cooking and more in general, but that didn't really change for us in the back says family chef. I could use the I could put the, I would probably put this one into my cooking theme and use it there. This one says virtual happy hour. Then this one's got like I guess for like a Zoom type meeting and whatever. That one may end up going to my dog because I am retired due to my health, so I don't have I didn't have to do Zoom meetings. And this one says homeschool on one side and distance learning on the other. That one will probably go to my daughter as well. I like this one. Homeschool update. My child just said I hope I don't have the same teacher next year. <laughs> that one's kinda cute. Now this one has cut aparts on both sides. I wonder if they're shaped the same. No, they are not. So there's that. And then the other stuff I bought individually. I need to hurry up here. These water brush pens came free with, it was a $25 order. I got this um, COVID laser die cut. This coronavirus, this one is COVID-19 stickers. I was up to see if it's on who, who they're by, but I don't see that, but those. This another COVID-19 one. I may not even need some of the digital ones I did. And then there's this set here of different die cuts and ephemeral pack. And then I bought some other paper that they had that I don't think I bought. This one had mask on one side and toilet paper rolls on the other. I did buy some other coronavirus paper, so it's possible that I duplicated. This one says pandemic on one side. And then it's got like the coronavirus on the other. This one's got the same thing on the back, but it's got daily news. I'm probably going to wish I had more sheets of that. Well, I suppose I could split them up and use those for like my monthly st stats. And then this one has a bunch of quarantine, COVID net words, and then a patchwork on the back. And that's all I bought. I want to thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.